Chris, the Dace Man Dace here, bringing you another edition of the Dace Man Show, episode 162, to be more specific. And joining me on the mic, our producer, Chris Bompadre. Good afternoon, or if you're in Hong Kong, get the fuck out. I hate Hong Kongians. Wow, that was a little harsh. What's the it's Hong just the truth. What did they do ever to you, man? Um, their name rhymes, and I only want that for me. Oh, okay. That's fair. Joining us from down the hallway, Frank Ward. Hi. I don't have any sort of hatred towards anybody, except for Gibby. Go the fuck away. That's true. <laughs> and we saved the worst for last, Gibby. <laughs> so we forgot how to work. Yay. My mute button. <laughs> I win. All right. Did he get, like, disconnected? That's what happens when you play Civilization two minutes before the damn uh, episode. Way longer than two minutes, my friend. Way longer than two minutes. You were off of it two minutes before the show? I'm still playing it. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh my this guy. Me, folks. You had to give me some time, that's all. Wait, you have up until 8 o'clock. Yes. No, I don't. I have up until I go to bed. I called you on Skype at 7.36. You had plenty of time to prepare for a show that we've done on Tuesdays for the past seven months. Wait, we do it that often? Uh, yeah, 162 times we've Ooh. done this show. Didn't realize that. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's a long-running show. Uh, longest podcast I know of, of our local group. Same here, but it's yeah. the only one that I know of. <laughs> Good. Keep it that way. Yeah. So it's also the shortest, right. if you think about oh. it. I'm, I'm okay, find one that just wow. started. Way to make take it into a negative one, Padre. Then leave. Friends. Sorry, I'll leave. It's okay. No, 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 leave, producer. No. Someone's right. got to keep me on track. Otherwise, uh, we'll have that awkward air, or Gibby will talk for an hour and a half. What's wrong with talking that. for like an hour and a half? I'm just curious. It's a nightmare to edit, and I don't know how the hell you do it with just two people on the line when there's normally six. Uh, yeah. Shut up. Master did it to me last week. Yeah, I know. I fucking it's... thought it would be a nice short show. Oh, fucking had like a 50-minute segment himself. Whenever he pairs up with somebody, that's going to be your longest show of the year. We should Pasta. let Padre and Gibby do a do a show together, see how that turns out. <laughs> it would be every 15 minutes, shut up, Gibby, next segment. <laughs> That's correct. I'm on a timetable here, bitch. No, you gotta just go with it and just breathe and let it go. Let it oh, go. It let it go. We got this. Plus, we're all entering into a booty shaking contest, aren't we? Whoa. What? That's news to me. <laughs> I signed up weeks ago. <laughs> What does this contest like uh, benefit? Autism, Tourette's, Parkinson's, I don't know. We booties. did it. We're all, we're all good. We got this. People with terrible booties. What do you win? Me. Booty implants. So booty slaps. You're forcing us into a booty shaking competition where the prize is you. Yep. Damn right. You're competing for yourself. I don't have to compete for myself. I'm just that guy. Damn good looking. I hope I'm below the age limit. I think we're all above the age <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I throw my back out in a competition like that. That's just my opinion. Maybe. Possibly. possibly doubtful. No, I'm pretty sure to happen. But on that note, it's time for Booty Shaking Sports! <laughs> sports you follow sports i am down three energy drinks and i'm living on the randy lynn day sleep schedule that's right i go to bed at 4 a.m right now but that does not stop major league baseball oh not for one Ooh. second good i was worried there for a yeah. minute in the american but... league east the orioles are leading their division 58 wins 40 losses behind them two and a half games of the red sox blue jays three behind yankees seven and a half and the rays are a 20 in the Woo. AL Central, the Indians are leading their division. Yeah, I said it, the Cleveland Indians. Woo, major League. Charlie Sheen and his team have 56 wins, 41 losses, followed by the Detroit Tigers with five and a half behind. 
The White Sox who are eight behind. The Royals who are eight and point eight and a half behind. I don't know what I did there. And the Twins who are nineteen and a half behind. Suck it, Minnesota. Woo, Minnesota. Suck Your it. Team suck. <laughs> In the AL West, the Texas Rangers have lead, are leading their division with 58 wins, 42 Woo! losses. Chuck Norris. Followed by the uh, Astros, who are three and a half behind. The Mariners, who are seven behind. The Athletics, who are 13 behind. And the Angels of Anaheim, who are 13 and a half behind. Moving over to the National League. The Nationals are leading the NL East. 58 wins to 41 losses. Followed by the Marlins, who are five behind. The Mets are five and a half. And the Phillies, who are 13 behind. The Braves, who we ruled out about two months ago, are 25 games behind. They got this. They got this. Their record is 33 and 66. But isn't there still a chance? They're, pro they're probably statistically no. not eliminated yet. But it's too early to yeah. tell, man. Too early to tell. Uh, but they have the worst record in Major League uh, this year so far. Give it time. The Reds are trying to catch up. The NL Central sees the Chicago Cubs. The Cubs. With the best record in Major League today with 59 Again. wins, 39 losses. Uh, the Cardinals are 6.5 behind. The Pirates are 8 behind. The Brewers are 16.5 behind. And the Reds are 20.5 behind. 20.5, huh? Yeah. That's gorgeous. Five or They're 4.5 games in front of the Braves, uh, so they're just squeaking not to be the worst. Squeaking. The NL West sees the... San Francisco Giants leading their division with 58 wins, 41 losses. The Dodgers, who are two and a half behind, and then a fall off where it goes. The Rockies are 11 behind. The Chris Padres are 15 and a half behind. Woo! The Diamondbacks are 17 behind. So for the first time, the Padres have been on the show, and we've done Major League Baseball. The Padres are not dead last. What? No. Nah. That's where you've been. I'd like to apologize, uh, and I promise we'll get back on the bottom real quick. <laughs> uh, in MMA news, Kimbo Slice, the son of the late fighter to make MMA debut at Bellator 116 or, uh, August, according to reports. Kevin Ferguson Jr., that's a stupid name, who's age 24, will fight at Bellator 160 in Anaheim, California on August 26th against an unknown opponent. Associated Press reported his father, Kimbo Slice, died in June at uh, age 42. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I thought he died. So you're talking the kid? The kid is. Oh. I didn't even know he fought. Uh, he's making didn't know he had a kid. I didn't know he had a kid either, but... Gibby's God, that... the, the uh, opponent yet must, to be named. Must be one retarded kid. I mean... Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he's not on bum fights like his father. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in WWE News, the new era kicked off with the first ever episode in the brand split era. And WWE Women's Championship changed hands from Charlotte to Sasha Banks. For those yes. who are WWE fans. I don't get it. Shocking. Can I get some more information, please? Thank you. Uh, well, she won her match Monday night. Congratulations. Whoever what exactly does that mean? She's now the Women's Champion. Okay, can I get more information, please? Didn't you want to go to SmackDown in September? This is how I know I'm calling bullshit. Oh, uh, it's wrestling. Yeah. That's why it's going to one. said WWE life. to start it. <laughs> I don't know these things. WWE can mean a lot of things, all right? Go on. Give me another meaning. Whistle while entertaining. Yeah, them damn whist whistlers. You got to watch out for them. Just saying. You never know. Got to watch out. They might come at you. Got another example? You said many things. <laughs> All right. Women wanting entertainment. Why is everything entertainment? All right. Women wanting electronics. Okay. <laughs> That's still not, with eggs. It's not the E word I kept waiting for you to use. I know. Like, women wanting. Word. That's why you can't say it. If it was a B, he would have totally gotten it by now. <laughs> another word for boner, Gibby. I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> the Kirkins. Ah, I don't want those. Oh god. Uh, on to football. Michael Vick. Woo! The former Falcons quarterback says he feels bad about, quote, dominating too much early in his career. But quote, what about the dog thing? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. That's all. That's all. <laughs> quote, some guys tore their ACLs, sprained their ankles, 
Uh, it wasn't the prettiest situation, Vic36 said on the Dan Patrick Show. He became the first quarterback to rush for 1,000 yards in a season in 2006 and then didn't play for his four years because of the dog thing. Woof, woof, woof. So he felt bad that he just did too well and couldn't live up to it again? Is I that guess. what happened? That's what happens when you go to jail. Like, different I'm, yeah. I'm sorry I used to be good and I suck now. If I was just mediocre my whole life, we wouldn't have this issue. <laughs> Gotta watch out, my friend. I know, right? That's uh, what I strive for. More Same. football news. The Atlanta Falcons released veteran kick and punt returner Devin Hester. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my. Really? Yeah, Hester holds the NFL record for most all-time return touchdowns. The four-time Pro Bowler joined the Falcons in 2014 and was released Tuesday. He is 33 years old. Uh, that's because he... Good. Uh, no, just, he doesn't have any other real skill other than that. He's a good returner, but he's not a good running back or anything else. Can he cook? Yeah. No, not can't <laughs> cook, can't knit. Can mm. he give you some high-quality H2O water? Yes. Okay. Possibly. Uh, Possibly. Last little bit of sports news. Tom Jackson. Sports analysts may leave ESPN Sunday NFL countdown after 28 seasons. Quote, this will be Tommy's call. It's up to him. Tommy's driven the train on this one. Uh, the situation is fluid. An NFL TV source told Bob Rasmus of the New York Daily Times. And that's all I've got for sports. Uh, you still doing the game thing? Like, what do you do? Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. I don't know what you do. He does a thing. Give it. Boy, that escalated quickly. All right, guys. Tim Sweeney, guys. Tim Sweeney. Tim Coast Sweeney. Downer. Hey, uh, Travis is here. Hey, guys. Hola. Travis. Hey. Co-founder of Epic Games and co-creator of the Unreal Engine is not a fan of what Microsoft is heading with Microsoft 10. He criticized the Universal Window platform twice this year, claiming that it's an attempt by Microsoft to monopolize what has traditionally been a happily open platform. Now in an interview with Edge Magazine, Sweeney has become even more direct in his criticism, claiming that future updates to Windows 10 could severely erode the usefulness of third-party applications and storefronts like Steam. Oh, there, no. There are two programming interfaces for Windows, that, and every app has to choose one of them, he said. Even Steam app, every PC game for the past few decades has used Win32. It's been both responsive for the vibrant software market we have now, but also for malware. Any program can be a virus. Universal window platform is is seen as an antidote to that, and it's sandboxed much more lockdown. Lockdown, <laughs> bitches! Yeah. The risk here is that if Microsoft convinces everyone to use the UWP when yep. uh, they phase out Win32 app, if they uh -huh. can succeed in doing that, is a very it's a small leap to forcing all apps right. and games to be distributed yeah. through the Windows Store only. Yeah. Right, Monopoly. Well, I care about it, but all right, f all you guys. I we had no idea what the hell you were saying. Could you say that's iconic? Actually, I really do care about because I use Steam oh. almost on a daily basis. So yeah, I use it a lot too. And if they're actually getting rid of, if they're going to force you to use their marketplace, then that's kind of ridiculous. Isn't yeah. Like Google Play. You're ridiculous. Well, it's yeah, but it, it's uh, there's there's several markets open, and they could do like or uh, Origin and Steam are the main two, I believe. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's plenty of others that you can get uh, gaming stuff like this. The only thing I've ever actually done Steam with is whenever you say, hey, there's a code to be reviewed. Somebody yeah. grab it. And that's the only time I've ever interacted with Steam. It's true. Oh. I, don't, I don't know the inner 
the inner fillings and machines of how Excuse it works. Me. Basically, they're they're saying you can't. The only way you can get games now through Windows 10, if uh, they actually go through it, is through their store, which means they can monopolize pricing and jack everything up. Probably hurt the independent market, right? Yep. Indie gamer, like indie designers, will probably have issues uh, selling things through it because they're probably Steam actually offers a pretty uh, doesn't really take that much of a cut off of like indie type games. Hmm. But I obviously, you're gonna go with Microsoft, and then they're just gonna screw you over. Ah, you bastard! You're turning into Apple. All right, next story. Total Warhammer is getting minotards, guys, courtesy of its Call of the Beastmen expansion. But what minotards? about <laughs> minotards? Oh, okay. Uh, They're getting minotards that are running around. But what about all the loyal customers that don't want to shell out money on the DLC? They don't have to worry about some extra stuff, too? No, not really, but it's a nice developer creative assembly to provide some anyway. To accompany the release of the expansion, all players, whether they own the DLC or not, will be getting a new hero mount, uh, new multiplayer features, and maps. Nice. With their mini-tards. Their mini-tards, yeah. <laughs> I really hope they use Peter Dinklage as a model. They might. Running around going, nah! So some free nah! content, guys, if you play that game. <laughs> Thank and you. One way ticket to hell, playing with mini tarts. Yep. BlizzCon 2016 is set to take place, guys, on November 4th and 5th at Anaheim Convention Center in. That's my birthday! California. Oh, the third. Happy birthday. Tickets to attend in person are completely sold out, but virtual tickets offering streaming access to the entire event are now on sale. Stop this that. year's big Blizzard blowout will feature developer panel panels on World of Warcraft, StarCraft II, Diablo III, Hearthstone, Heroes of the Storm, and Overwatch, plus exclusive interviews with members of the development teams, contest winners, BlizzCon exec, uh, exclusive swag, and giveaways swag. And us? of in-game items, and us. a and pile us. of pro esports... A pile of pro esports will also be on tap, including StarCraft II World Championship Series, That's Global nice. Finals, at the World of Warcraft Arena World Championship, the Hearthstone World Championship, and the Heroes of the Storm Fall Championship. Are you covering this? I kind of want like to. I don't know how much. I wonder how much the tickets cost. Well, we're going to have to put an editor on standby. So oh. Can says uh, 40, $40 at BlizzCon.com. And when are, when are the dates again? Uh, November 4th, 4th and 5th. Yeah. Yeah, Where is two, it? Two days Where? shy of my birthday. Two days shy of your birthday. <laughs> mm -hmm. November 2nd. I'm the really? third. Mm -hmm. So we're waiting so, around. So it's a Friday and Saturday, yeah. guys. We end the show November 1st, and then we just roll into the birthdays, and then BlizzCon. We just go with it. We just go with it. Uh, next, Con's Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex First Assault Online. That is a really long video game name. Uh, I agree. Which, for the sake of... <laughs> uh, so, people are just calling it First Assault. is about to enter open beta beginning July 28th. All players will be able to access the game at no charge as it heads to the final stretch before launch. The first assault, a multiplayer FPS that sets players up as oper operatives of Section 9, an elite force of cyber cybernetically enhanced combat operatives tasked with protecting society and fighting terrorists on the bleak streets of futuristic Japan. It off <laughs> currently offers... Oh my god. It currently offers... Eight unique classes, three modes of play, and several different maps. But the move into open beta will also include an update adding a new operative, new systems, and optimizations, as and an innovative mode inspired by the classic Ghost in the Shell standalone complex series that brings a new hacking element into the game. Uh -huh. so, so for all of you interested in that... 
begins July 28th. It's not my birthday. No. Prove it. No. In oh. two days that starts? Yeah. Oh. So. I'm not interested. In this, you know, free content, guys. Free content. Uh, Riot still hasn't released evidence to support its recent and unprecedented banning of Pro League of Legends team Renegades. And while it, at this stage it's it's unlikely the company ever will, then a new ESPN report provided some hold back. On, hold on, <laughs> ESPN reported on this. Yes. Holy shit! <laughs> Slow day in the office. You know nothing else going on. You can tell football's not in season. True. Uh, context from the band team's point of view. It's a lengthy report, but here are some of the key points, guys. In a statement in May, Riot cited three main reasons for banning, including not properly disclosing team ownership, misleading player <laughs> trades, and player mistreatment. <gasps> Following the imp imposition of a 12-month ban on Chris Baldea. You just said Chris Dace. Because yeah. if anyone's going to get yeah. banned, it's going to be me. <laughs> are allegedly tampering uh, with the ownership of Renegades uh, and was transferred to a new company, um, Milkis Gaming LLC. Riot claimed that Christopher Minkus had, Minkus. An, Minkus? had an agreement with Baldi to transfer 50% ownership of the company following the latter's ban period. It's against Riot's rules for ownership of a team to be acquired during a ban. I feel like you're reading the uh, storyline for one of the episodes of Girl Meets World. <laughs> I agree. Oh. Period and everything. Okay. <laughs> uh, so basically, they, they sold the company. Well, they, they sold 50% of a team. I didn't even know that. Is there money in making teams? Well, League of Legends is Let's probably. The winning team probably gets probably close to $10 million. Uh -huh. Get out of here, man. Why aren't we doing that? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for listening. We're out. <laughs> <laughs> I need a new computer. We're heading to League of Legends. Somebody I get that guy a computer. Yeah, it's pretty uh pretty pretty legit. I mean, Dada has the same thing. Dada I only think gets like eight to ten million per. Yeah, I've actually played League of Legends. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing, right? Almost. It's pretty much well. It's only eight mil. Yeah. You know, no big no big deal. <laughs> I don't walk out of the house for less than. Fifteen million. Right. <laughs> 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 Wipe my ass with that one. Um, it's coming to attract spectators while playing Telltale's narrative-driven adventures. So it's natural enough that those uh, spectators like to call the shots as well. So it'd be cool if a multi multi oh my god if multiple players could vote on the game's decision and dialogue trees too. Right? That's apparently what's going to happen in. All Telltale games from now on. Standing, st I mean not standing, starting with the forthcoming Batman adaptation. Batman Beyond. A studio spokesman said at Comic-Con in San Diego. When was that? Uh, I guess it was last weekend. Yeah. As reported oh, by this. Jack News, guys, Batman Jack. will debut... A new crowd play function Shit. boasting two modes. The first being right. the whole room or crowd to make decisions based on a majority vote, while the second allows the main player to have ultimate ruling on any decision. Shit. That sounds uh, very susceptible to trolling. Apparently more than 2,000 people can vote on a single game. Which will make so, for an interesting cinematic experience. So, wait. So when that point comes up in your game, do you get to see, like, oh, 8 million people said this option? Yep. Then you just go with it. And I'm going I'm to follow the herd. Yay. I just, like, whatever the option is to kill it, that's my option. To kill it. That's right. Kill it with fire. Just kill it. Die. Dun, dun, dun. Check. Check. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Ultimate Alliance. Like Never heard of it. Back in uh, prehistory, mm -hmm. the PlayStation 2, two action RPG games came out that made great use of Marvel license. Oh, my God! 
X Men Legends, X Men Legends Two, and Marvel hasn't just announced its re-release, remastered <laughs> versions of both games. I next care about what you're saying. And <laughs> consoles. No, we're getting Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Oh my god! Marvel Ultimate <laughs> Alliance Two. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> next gener generational follow ups that bosh in the likes of Iron Man and Captain America as well. Yay! As you <laughs> may have guessed, the news <laughs> comes out of this week's San Diego Comic Con along with a dozen exciting exciting trailers for upcoming superhero films. Well, Marvel Ultimate Alliance is and its sequel will be available individually or in a double pack this coming Tuesday in digital form for oh, either thirty nine ninety nine or fifty nine ninety nine for both. Okay. Uh, I'll take six. Sequel will be available on this coming Tuesday. Yeah, I guess it will be today. Now, my question is: Is uh, Deadpool in any of these titles? Oh, like if took know. out the X Men and all them. So you're getting better performance along with visual and UI improvements. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, there's shit. no word on whether the game's ream of downloadable content will be included in the package, but on a plus side, uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance remaster ex executive producer Mike Jones has said that anything is possible regarding a third entry into the series. <gasps> That's all I got for you guys. Oh my god! I, you know, we gotta wrap this show up. If this is on the PS store, I gotta go. It might be. <laughs> you never know. You never I'm looking know. looking at an article. It says it's out uh, on Steam and PS4 today with an Xbox One release following on Thursday. Xbox sucks. Shit, I gotta wait uh, a couple days. You gotta days, wait then. two more days. Louis <laughs> <laughs> is gone, guys. Dace is gone. Yeah, I'm gonna kick it to Frank's corner and just peace out. Oh. <laughs> Suckers. What, is, what happened to ignoring Gibby's segment? He, he just had a segment. He picked out oh. some topics that. And you guys listened. <laughs> yeah. Hey, all he had to say was Marvel, and I just woke right the best, right up. I, I yeah. think after a hundred and some episodes, we found out the winning formula with Gibby is give him articles he cares about, and then yes. all of a sudden he could just blow through it like he's fucking. Uh, and show sincerity in it too. Yeah. Show <laughs> some sincerity. Uh huh. What he said. <laughs> no, is that not what I'm supposed to say? What yeah, she said. Uh, that's perfect. I'm not a she. So fuck you. Uh, oh. Time for Frank's Corner. Love you, Frank. following interpretation is brought to you by taste and good form. Tell me something, my friend. You ever dance with the devil in the pale of your mind? Wait a minute, wait a minute, you ain't heard nothing yet. <laughs> Nobody puts baby in the corner. Down on the corner, out in the street, where the world is. Alright, welcome to the corner, everybody. This Thanks. week, what? Thanks for the welcome. Uh, Thank you, Frank. Good man. Hey, good Thanks. night, Thanks. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. For is on that. PS4. No. no, good night, everybody. It's my turn to talk and stuff. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Question that. I mean, it's not the greatest corner that I've ever had because I, because you know, I I just want you guys to be happy and then I stress and then I don't find the good enough stuff. Anyway, <laughs> I actually stop binge eating, bastard. What? Stop binge eating. I said. I, just, I eat because I'm sad, and it makes me happy. <laughs> anyway, me happy. okay, so last night I actually found a thing that was a bunch of, like, stupid truth or dare situations that people have gone through, and I'm like, this, dare you do it. this would be great for my segment. And la, 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 and then we lost power for eight years. So then, when my computer rebooted, for whatever reason, it decided, hey, I didn't save your pages. You didn't need those, did you? So I lost it, and I went to Google it. And I didn't find that one, but I found a different one. So I just wanted to give you that backstory of how I ended up with these sloppy when seconds. I wanted something else. Yeah, this is the sloppy section, <laughs> sections, seconds of the shitty dares 
that I was going to tell you guys about. Are you sure? Are you yes. positive? Because, you know, you're really starting to freak me out here, dude. Yeah, so to start with, a uh, little story. When I was 10, I was dare dared to smear dog poop on my face. I, I fucking didn't... knew it. But I didn't have a dog. <laughs> I knew it. So I went looking for some random dog's turd. I did it and won ten dollars. Yay. Not a bad deal. Is that a happy story? We'll go yes. with no, but yes. Not for okay. the dog. Uh jokingly I dared my friend to lick the puke on a parking lot floor. She Tasty. immediately got down on her knees and did Ooh. it. And also blew me. I added that last part, but I just feel like it went in together. It totally fit. It totally yeah, fit, yeah. yeah. Um, kind of along that note, actually, um, the my friend, <laughs> actually, a little bit of backstory, he kept just saying the joke, lick it. Like, anytime somebody would point out something, like, hey, grab me a beer, he'd just be like, lick it. Don't ask why, he might have brain damage. Anyway, uh, somebody pointed out there was bird poop on one of the picnic tables, and of course he said, lick it, so she did. No. Now she has bird flu. Uh. Yeah, see. What? She doesn't Blue really have bird flu. Can't I, I just bad. wanted to say that so children wouldn't go around licking things because they wanted to be like the Dace Man show. I like the uh, additional note that Frank adds on to each story. It's the most entertaining part. Yeah, like totally. I said, these were the secondary dares. Like, I felt so let down, but All right, they were spice there. it up and don't say that it's false. Go with it as true. That's journalism. Somebody, some, oh, I will be, I'll be working for Fox News in no time. <laughs> That's right. Hey. I, I I was Dream in college big, and was dared to snort some Sour Patch Kids. Oh, Ooh, I got you know some right what? here. I've been dared to snort one of those Pixie Sticks. How'd that go? Burn. Well, this was... I did it just once. I did it like three times. Well, Why? this one didn't have as many complaints. I uh, got one dollar and a package of Easy Mac, which I think equates to another dollar. So, got a bloody nose and some Easy Mac. Mm. Lame. And some practice for cocaine. Oh, oh coke. Okay. That's that cocaine. invaluable. <laughs> yeah, really. You gotta learn how to take cocaine. You don't want to be that loser at the party that can't handle his coke. Exactly. One summer, my friend was dared to lick a horse's penis. Just hey once or twice. That kid's not dead. <laughs> she claimed she didn't actually do it, but I definitely saw some tongue-to-dick contact. And maybe that's a little cool. bit of deep throating. That's and then cool. A little bit of bestiality. I love it. Yeah. it would have been better though if it was a bird. Uh, I like a bird. Go, go kiss that bird's dick, and then it flies away. You got to chase it for an hour. It only flies away. I can't only imagine what the horse was thinking though. Like just chilling, and then what? What you doing? What you hot? Hi. Gonna buy me dinner first? Give me some oats? No. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with it. I'm just gonna go with it. And then secondly, nobody does that to me. I'm not standing in a food court and somebody comes over and just... Well, hello there. Well, maybe you're not trying hard bullshit. enough. You should wear a horse costume. Is it because I'm wearing pants? Does that Yay. deter me? <laughs> Is that where the horse head thing came into play? Somebody already read this story and they're like, I've got it. So the horse head trend of 2014 was also somebody would lick their dick. Maybe. Correct. Possibly. I mean, you can't say you can't say yes or no to that one. I think that's the end goal for everything anyone does. That's how you know you made it. That's right. right. Gets licked. Yep. By a stranger. <laughs> On a scale of one to licked dick, where, where do we fall? Just licked. Oh. <laughs> I think we get spit on. Just... <laughs> I don't know if that's better than licked or not. Licked is a little bit more sensual. Well, spit, it's probably in your eye, so it's oh. worse. <laughs> no, it's a good eye. Make sure aim, aim way next time. And it's probably a homeless person with herpes. God damn it. You now have herpes of the eye. T-shirt, uh, T-shirt <laughs> idea! That's right, that's right. Do it! You have herpes of the eye. Oh, it's gonna and, to pro <laughs> and to promote that, we're going to go around giving you eye herpes. <laughs> yeah. And if you listen to the Dayspan show, we're giving you ear herpes. Yeah. No. We're worth <laughs> millions. Ear gonorrhea, because it burns. Yeah. But burns so good. Unless it's Gibby. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, back back to whatever the hell I'm talking about. Once on a triple dog dare, so you know they had to do it. You yep. can't deny a triple dog dare. That's right. Why is that exactly? 
Uh, if you're a pussy, just, if you do. Yeah. <laughs> My man, I'm just asking. <laughs> the way Don's Come down. Come down. Don't be that guy. Squawking. Genesis 23:15. Thou shall not ignore a triple thug dare, else be called a pussy. Yeah, it was on it's the true. third tablet that Moses left at the top of the mountain. <laughs> he didn't have a third hand. It wasn't his fault. Yeah, I said, don't be a pussy. Triple dog dare. You do it. That's the eleventh commandment. It's true. Yep. Uh, anyway, I was dared to place my balls in a sleeping friend's open mouth. Oh, hand. Sorry, I just got ahead of it. I figured teabagging was a thing. Just open hand. It was funny at first, but then he woke up and squeezed them with a death grip. Like, what is this squishy in my hand? Oh, in the hand? I thought you said mouth. I, I did. I got excited. Not that kind of excited, but I got excited. You got it? Oh, I, I think it was that kind of excited. It would have been a better story if it was his mouth. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Then just say that. I can't help it. I report the truth. We there don't is. like the truth. I thought you the were truth. for Fox. The, the truth of user M420FB356D. Uh, hey, that's that me. That user had a story that needed to be told and the truth. That guy's a liar. Not Agreed. necessarily. He's a fucking liar. They've got 420 in their name. Honestly. Yeah. Alright, well then he's just an idiot. That? Yes. More than likely. Um, oh, in middle school... Right. I licked the entire length of the gym wall on a dare. I hope that guy got MRSA. <laughs> uh, wow. It did take place Start in Tampa right Bay, so it's highly likely. That's probably how MRSA started. Probably. Some jackass licked the entire gym. Um, I was thinking that's how Double Eight started. What started? Double Eights. MCO! Eh, eh, t shirt! <laughs> can, <laughs> can, you get, can you get AIDS from saliva? I mm, no, I don't think you do. No. I'm pretty sure, you, I think I'm pretty you sure you're allowed to make out with an AIDS I, patient, aren't you? I think it's just highly unlikely, but you, I think you can. I smell a no, it's, no, only if you have like a cut in your mouth or something like that, right? Yeah. 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 You need sores or blood any open, mouth. yeah, any open sores or any, uh, any body blood of, fluids. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is either science day experiment or. Bumpod, you write this down. Frank's for everything episode. How to get AIDS. How to get AIDS. <laughs> yeah. Type, 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 type. I hear that little clink. I feel thing. like if you guys do an episode on that, I can bring the shirts back. I'm just saying. Also, since it's sort of kind of my idea-ish, it was our idea, but and the point is dibs on not getting AIDS is what's happening here. Dibs. Oh, it's totally Gibby. Why I me? I'm gorgeous. One, me. I thought yeah. you wanted it. You're the oldest and have lived the longest. And Hold have the least value. Wait a minute. Oldest and live the longest are the same thing. Oldest exactly. And live the longest. No, he's probably lived the least. Birds he's incubate eggs. Yeah, but he hasn't left his house in the last three months. Wait, Neither. I have to leave? No. I can left. What do you mean? To truly I was live. shaking the other day. To truly live. You liked it, don't lie. Wow, you ended up medic there for a moment. Yeah. You should have seen him in right field this weekend. He was just out there honking. Well, that's what you told me to do. I did it. Caught it a couple good. balls in his face. So why won't you do this whole AIDS test thing if I tell you to do that? Come on, man. <sighs> AIDS! Whoa, not yelling things. That's not yeah. what we were doing. Yeah, it's ear gonorrhea. We, I love started. you. I am so lonely. So, did I ever tell you about the time I had to cover my entire face with peanut butter? You did. Yes. Ooh, tell butter. me about this. I, you smell bad. Well, it took forever to get off, and my face smelled like peanut butter for days, but my skin was very soft, though. Wouldn't surprise me. Oh, well, it's the oil. Yeah. So, I feel like that would just cause a lot of acne, then. Break out like a motherfucker. Mm, possibly. Uh, Gabby, we're covering you with peanut butter. It also Everywhere. would deter women, probably. What? Well, bitches love peanut butter. I don't know. Uh, Actual you bitches. On, you put it on your balls, they love... Oh. <laughs> oh my god. You gotta like them balls, baby. Gotta like them balls! Keep the dogs away. Woof, woof, woof. And bark, bark. Better keep Vic out of here, man. Just saying. Wow. <laughs> nom, nom. Ah, in middle school, I was dared to jump down a flight of stairs. <gasps> Are you okay? Wait, 
And we'd line the bot bunch of pussies. We'd line the bottom up with <laughs> pillows and blankets, so it would be cushion when I landed. Oh, what? You don't need cushions. F that. Just go. I, yeah, just go. Go to sleep. Land. I don't know how many how many flights of stairs I tried to just plummet down and it didn't work out. I'm fine. Yeah, I mean, look at him. He can't even say his name. I don't have any prolonged pr pr issues. Right. Uh, I missed the bottom. Bottom by one step landed right on my ass. Oh man, really? Oh. Good. Good had thing there's a bunch of fat down there because I'm a fat ass. Had to sit on a pregnancy donut for a week. <laughs> and couldn't take it up the butt. Pretty like sure that's not what that donut's for. But okay, keep going I, with that, my friend. I ate a pregnancy donut once. Where? Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Glazed. Disgusting. You just you made it perverted. Yeah, that's sick, Gibby, you twisted. Yeah, what the shit. fuck is your problem, you son of a bitch? Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> fuck you. Guys. Man, just get the hell out of here. Yeah, you're a disgrace to the world. I know, but I got such a nice keg. What? Do you have stomach. a keg? His stomach. Oh. See, I was about to, <laughs> I was about to come over. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this one, I was dared to eat a bug for a dollar. Oh, that's nothing. And that's I was poison. so broke that I ate two. Look at that. Oh. It didn't. It doesn't say what kind of bug. Lame. So imagine any bug you want. Pick a bug. Pick one. Go. Go. Mealworm. Go. Pick mealworm. Eat Dung two. Dung beetle. Nope. Too late. Mealworm was chosen. I thought we West needed two. West Nile carry mosquito. What? Can you get West Nile that way? We'll find out. No. Maybe. I'm sure. But maybe. Let's do it! Science! If you have mouth sores. Science! <sighs> you planted me friendly. with science. Living with a hernia. Is that where we're going with that? Uh, nope. yeah. And then my friend was dared to eat one of those antibacterial wipes. <laughs> she, ended up, all... she ended up foaming at the mouth when she talked for days. But she was clean. And had the shits. And was clean. And had the shits. And Those are the same thing. Everywhere. Clean yourself out. Everywhere. Clean yourself out. Shit everywhere. On the walls. That's my life. On the dog. I don't have it grandma. all. Grandma. Oh, got everywhere. So I was at a friend's house. We were yeah. in her hot tub, and I got there to take my swimsuit off and run across the yard. Okay. I was halfway back when the girl's dad came out with snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Does it say what kind of snacks? Uh, Twinkies. Ooh. And that was the last time I was invited to their home. The screen, or the username for this is Hannah S 43 so I imagine it was a female. Hey, Hannah. Also, also gonna imagine over the age of 18 for this fantasy. And go. Hey, ah. Hannah. <laughs> so wait, what? if she's over the age of 18, why would the father kick her out? Uh, good question. I I, it's gotta okay. be under. Has to be under. That Just explains saying. Why, that explains why it hasn't been on Pornhub. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Good Good thinking, Gibby. You know, nothing gets past you. Except Damn. for if she was under 18, you'd keep her there. I would still keep her there, but that's a different story. Yeah, we won't get it. It's disturbing. What? Old disturbing. enough to pee, old enough for me. Yep. Uh-huh. I dared a friend to drink water out of a toilet, so she used a straw. Why does it always she? Yeah. I've noticed most of these stories have been females. I'm pretty sure this is what happens, ladies, when you try joining a, uh, what the hell is, what is the female? A, a sorority, yes. I'm just nervous that we're getting ready to elect a female as a president. Frank, Frank, let me ask you a question, a serious question. Are you a misogynist? Is that why you're choosing all these female stories? Um, no, maybe well, Spencer Althaus. Take this up with Spencer Althaus. Okay. Out, Spencer Outhouse. Alt House. Alt. Sounds like a shitty name to me. Alt House. <laughs> yeah, Spencer's mad at his ex and he's airing the dirty laundry right now. He's the one that did this list. I'm just stealing it and putting it on the show. He looks like really? a douchebag. bag. Yes. <laughs> you Googled his name? Yeah. I wonder if this is the same one. Because he does kind of look like a douchebag. Yeah, he's a writer for BuzzFeed, so I'm sure it's yeah. the guy. Oh, you oh, just he's... assumed I was using BuzzFeed? Yeah. Because that's the fallback. That's my... <laughs> BuzzFeed is my safety net. It is. If I can't find what I need, I go to BuzzFeed because it, it, it works. 
Some of the people who work at BuzzFeed are pretty cool people. Well, I not Googled Spencer. Spencer okay. Outhouse dares, and I got 17 of the worst dares people have actually done. I'm sure it's the article you're reading. Okay, now you're getting a little too close here. Okay. <laughs> Back off. No! <laughs> I don't want it! Um, Me! Go I was dared to put my used bloody tampon in an envelope and put it in my neighbor's mailbox. Alright! <laughs> you assume it's a Do woman. It. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. He'll love it. He'll think it's uh, something he can eat. Uh, on a serious bears. serious note, folks, that's A, how you get AIDS, and B, that's a felony. That's prob- actually, that probably felony. is a felony, but let's no, it do is. it anyway. Unless the person has an extremely dis- disturbing sense of humor about it. And just licks the... And yeah. the what? A, dip it in tea, it makes it sweeter. No! What is wrong with you guys? <laughs> uh, well, we're just coming up with ideas. <laughs> Don't be such a prude. Yeah. <laughs> such a prude. Very queasy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's what I said on prom night, and that wasn't an excuse, so... It's always a no. good excuse, though. That All you're right. just queasy? Oh. Was um, that it? Nope, nope, still, like, okay. three more. I, I know, it's going quick, probably being yelled to, like, move... Oh, that wasn't being told to move on. Yeah, he is. We wrap it up. No, <laughs> hey, you don't. This could be a girl. I mooned a full, uh, full room of Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, now you're talking. Yeah, um, I ate two habanero peppers on a dare, and let out a scream that didn't sound like a noise an actual human could make. Probably something like Gibby would make. Every day. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Enough. Um, my face swelled up like Will Smith's in Hitch, and I spent the entire night throwing up. Really? Yeah. Wimp. Oh, that is a little weird. I can I can down two of those things with no problem. Dude, he can down that with no issue, man. He'll just just take it in his mouth and go. And you'll take much. Your butt? Wow. I'll take. No. Um. But I'll... <laughs> check. Just check. No, but you have me some uh, ghost peppers. No problem. No problem. I I get some. really ghost sweaty peppers. just looking really, at it. Really, really so really I don't good. do spicy food. Actually, that's a lie. I don't mind mild, medium. I can't do like. I don't. I don't really like habaneros. I can do jalapeno. Really? Yeah. Anyway, uh, I was slightly intoxicated. I was drunk off my ass, and was dared to eat some raw chicken. Oh God! Oh, oh no, that's, that's where I draw how you the line. get salmonella. I would not. Yeah, that, oh, I no, would no, agree no, on no, that no, one. No, no. I'm There's a new T-shirt. There's <laughs> no way that's happening. Give his head on a raw chicken. I <laughs> so we're all chicken. That's how I got salmonella. Says, salmonella. <laughs> I like it. Let's do it. Double salmonella. I got a little funny. Good. I got a little funny story about that. I used to live in uh, Oklahoma. There's this uh, city called Tahlequah, and it was this uh, college part of the city. And near the this university there, um, right across the street from each other, there was this uh, one restaurant called Sam and Ella's. And it was across the street from E. Coli's. E. Coli. True story. True. E. I don't get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I actually ate at San Manila since it's a pizza place. It's pretty good stuff. Damn good pizza. Just do it, man. Just do it. Uh, anyway, the last one that I have, back in my college days, I was dared to lick the fungus-ridden dirty toe of a guy on the wrestling team. Why a guy on the wrestling I Was it Chris Dace? After a good Listerine rinse, I got immediate revenge on the jerk who dared me to do it by daring him to take a sip of the water from his fish's tank. Vomit followed and vengeance was mine. Uh, so uh, you just made him drink some chlorine water and you, you licked a fucking toe. Fish can't have chlorine, can they? I don't know. I just said it. Yeah, I heard you say it. I would not eat water that is full of fish excrement. You, there, you do there have you to go. put... Some, okay, one, it just says take a sip. Have you ever been at a lake and accidentally got a little bit in your mouth? Come on, grow up. I'd never swim in a lake, thank you. God damn you city boys. Oh, I, really? Days? Have I? I don't know, have you? I'm asking you. I have. I'm asking you. 
I, if I went to the lake, it was going to be with you. Because you made me do things outside. Uh -oh. oh, I know. Justin did. Uh -oh. Yeah, I probably did. But uh, you weren't with us on that trip. Then I probably did. Mm. I don't know. I don't remember what happened last year. Well, that is fucking true. Yeah. I don't remember either, so I guess that's, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Time for celebrity news! Right, People died. Email, I'm ready for my close up. Yes, sir. What the hell? Got yay, motherfucker. Wipe my shiny metal ass. Yeah, bitch! And here we go. Now, the big thing coming out of this weekend uh, is San Diego Comic Con uh, that Gibby alluded to it a little bit before, and there's a ton of news coming. First off, in Marvel television, if you're a fan of the show Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Ghost Rider is coming to the TV show, and to inform Gibby, it will not be Nicolas Cage. Oh, well then it's not even worth fucking anything, then. Not even Johnny Blaze. It will be Robbie Reyes, and played by Gabrielle Luna. Hmm. Lame. I don't lame. know what any of that means, but yes, that is lame. Uh, they released, uh, among the trailers this weekend at Comic-Con, Marvel released a look at Marvel's Luke Cage, which is set to debut this September. Uh, Iron Fist, which is set to just debut in 2017, and then a teaser trailer of The Defenders, which will gather Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Jessica Jones, and Daredevil. Jessica Jones. So uh, does Luke Cage do the ball buster? <laughs> no, well, he is a ball buster. Do you, do you even know where I'm pulling that from? Uh, Mortal Please. Kombat. Okay, thank you. Never heard of it. Nope. Uh, a little bit of more uh, Marvel TV news. A X Men live action spin off is coming. Really? For FX, and it will be called Legion. It will follow the life of David Holler, a teenager who has been diagnosed with a mental illness of schizophrenia. Uh, we follow the eight episode arc to determine that his mental illness is actually a mutant ability. Legion is co produced by Marvel Studios what? and FX and yeah. will debut in early 2017. That's what I'd go with, too. Yeah, no, no, Johnny, you're not insane. You're a mutant. You're special. Yeah. Marvel Movies, uh, second trailer for Doctor Strange released this past weekend, giving us a little bit more detail on the Doctor himself. Guardians of the Galaxy 2 released a bunch of information on their panel, including the addition of Sylvester Stallone. Are you fuck? Oh, how did my he, God. How did he weasel his way in there? In what looked to be a Nova Corps no. outfit, or he's just slimpy playing Judge Dredd still. Are you freaking joking me? <laughs> Another reveal was Kurt Russell will be playing Ego, a.k.a. the Living Planet, also known as Peter Quill's father. So he will be playing Chris Pratt's father in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Sweet! That's huge for Guardians. Yes! Yeah. Uh, Captain Marvel has been casted for the 2019 release, and it will be Brie you? Larson. Oh, yes. oh, so yeah. Most likely start in late 2017, if not early 2018, due to the list of movies that are slated before Captain's arrival to the big screen. Uh, Gladiator armor was released this weekend at San Diego Comic Con 2 for the Incredible Hulk, further giving proof that the Planet Hulk storyline that Nick Andrew has been talking about for three years will be involved in Thor Ragnarok. And he's not here to enjoy this moment. He's not. Over to DC Entertainment. Shitload of trailers came out for Gotham, Arrow, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, all for their TV shows. Legends of Tomorrow will f face the Legion of Doom in Season 2. Flash will be entering into the comic book arc of Flashpoint. Arrow will be assuming a new team following the disbandment of his old team and the defeat of Damian Dark. And in Gotham, we will see new villains and new heroes rise as Season 3 takes way. The bigger news that came out of uh, DC's entertainment panels was the first Wonder Woman Comic Con trailer. Really? As well as the first Justice League trailer. Justice League is due out November 10th, 2017, and Wonder Woman is due out uh, June 2nd, 2017. That's you my can birthday. See all these trailers on the DaceManShow.com. In the last bit of Comic Con news. You ready? Go. I'm getting with the anticipation. 
Drum uh, roll. Star Trek Discovery had their first teaser released at Comic Con International. Really? Uh, CBS All Access had the USS Discovery pulling out of a dock looking for its test flight. Oh yeah. Unknown. I seen that. That was actually uh, quite interesting. That's going to be. That's only on Netflix, right? Uh, CBS All Access. C Netflix International. So this is a reboot of a reboot. It seems like it's, it's the first it, ever manned mission. I don't know. From from what I was looking at, I, I don't know. Like it's coming out of a space dock. It looks like the ship from Star Trek Beyond. Maybe, yeah. Which they discovered and they called it the first ship. Did you see the movie yet? No. Go I haven't. Movie. Let's go, Gibby. When do you want to go? We'll go on a date night. Again. I honestly would. What are you Same. doing? I, I don't know what I'm... But the, the USS Discovery, I believe, was in Star Trek Beyond, and it looks like that will be the centerpiece of the new Star Trek TV show. Ba-bam! 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 We still... Bam! Still bamming? <laughs> Check! Bam! 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 Uh, in case you didn't know, a little bit of political it. news. The Republican National Convention happened uh, last week. Jesus Christ. With very little... Uprising, as most nope. people have suspected. Ted Cruz snubbed the candidate by not endorsing him while giving his speech and was met with an entire stadium full of booze. I drank an entire cried, stadium full of booze. Right? <laughs> Donald Trump replied with, uh, he committed career suicide. Quite the opposite happened in the kickoff for the Democratic National Convention. You ain't kidding on that one. Where the entire floor erupted in the controversy where the Democratic National Convention chairwoman stepped down this past weekend due to controversial emails stating that the Democratic National Convention was in favor of Hillary Clinton, meaning they were against Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders' delegates took to the floor and drowned out every damn speaker that went on the podium except for Bernie Sanders. Yeah. When Bernie pleaded to vote Hillary, and even Bernie got booed. I a... good I luck on that one, guys. Else. Good this, luck on that one. This is why I'm not voting. Yeah, Hillary is expected to take the stage, I believe, tonight to accept the nomination, assuming that Philadelphia doesn't burn to the ground. If it does, no, I luckily think three she, or four of us have first row seats to watch does, the city get engulfed. She doesn't have it yet, though. She, well, she has to come out and the delegates have to openly vote for her, but seeing that everybody is like... I mean, we'll see. I mean, I, I question it, but we'll see. It, it's... I tell you, we are going to see a nice glow of orange in our backdrop of <laughs> effort. It is quite interesting, is all I'm saying. It's and we will know that the Philadelphia Flyers will have nowhere to play hockey next year. They might, yeah, you're That's right. That's probably fine. <laughs> because, and the NBA 76ers. I didn't know we still had a team. Um, I didn't know that either. And I won't be able to see SmackDown in September. Uh -huh. Because Wells Fargo will burn down, as well as the city. Like, if there's a city to riot, the city of brotherly love was going to do it. Pretty much. They're overdue, aren't they? They are. I don't think they're, like, they like, all the oh, riots. Like stealing the, uh, the anger torch from them. I'm surprised we haven't just, like, murdered half the city. Well, they have, but... It still just goes under the radar. Like, ah, that's Philly. They, they do that on the reg. Pretty much. Minneapolis goes fucking nuts. It's like, holy shit, they're peaceful people. Exactly. What the hell going on? They can't do that. They can't do that. Well, there you have it, folks. That is episode 162 in the books. Time to go around the horn, talk to all our panelists here, see what they've got going on. We'll start with you, Gibbles. I'm here. Please. Thank you. And email me. <laughs> cool. What Short and sweet. Plug? Where would I email you at? Uh, an email address. Dumbfuck at gmail.com. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, please email me at statesmanshow at gmail.com. And... That's about all I got right now. Let's uh, let's switch gears and we'll okay. go over to Travis. What do you got going on? Oh. Oh. Uh, come to me now. I got to you earlier. <sighs> he's not really ready to pounce. No problem, no problem. Well, you can find me on YouTube. I have a Let's Play channel. It's called uh, Rose Card Let's Play. And if you haven't guessed already, that's where I talk about how you make napalm. 
Well, anyway. Philadelphia, I hope you're listening. <laughs> so, uh, basically, it's just like any other Let's Play channel. Um, I just play video games, and I just commentate over them while you guys see my... Why all of you guys see my ugly mug in the top left corner of the screen. Uh, just let's see here the videos I've done here recently. And first of all, before we continue to talk about some of the videos, I want to thank Dace uh, for sharing my videos on his YouTube page. Thank you very kindly. Um, and let's see, I got a new uh, episode of Surgeon Simulator 2013 that is coming out tomorrow, which will be Wednesday, the, uh, July 27th. And uh, let's see, just Going around right at this moment is looking at different indie games. I'm trying not to stray too much away from retro gaming because at this point, a lot of these games are kind of old. So I guess that counts as retro. It's a few years old. But just check it all out at youtube.com slash user slash rose colored let's play. All right, Franklin, what do you got going on, bud? Real quick, what what age does is, yeah. Retro. What age is considered retro? Like, are PS3s um, retro now? Oh, God. I don't even know if you want to know this, dude. You, you have to understand. You don't want to ask I'll, questions. Like you don't my want answers date, to. My cutoff date typically is about 2014. That's my cutoff date. Mine is September 17th, 1988. Anything behind that is just retro. So, old. so do you, like... I'm not retro. That's what I was trying to make. Space invaders. <laughs> well, this sounds like an actual question. Go ahead, Frank. No, no, I was just trying to figure it out. I, I well, he's still I working on the math. It's not current gen. Okay, yeah, that's there you go. Of, so technically, like PS3 and stuff would yeah. be retro already. I would say so. Yes. Well, even though it's still coming I, I out with PS3 games, guys, they're, they're still, still kind of relevant. Games for it. Like when they do a release, they're doing dual release. Okay, for PS4 and PS3. let's let's just simplify this. Anything that has come out before the release of like the PS4 and Xbox One. Let's put it like that. Anything before that is retro. Yeah. Okay. Just curious. Clarifications. Um, otherwise, otherwise, uh, I'm here. Thanks. Nice. I just I cool. wanted to Real see what nice. it felt like. It felt it felt empty actually. Uh, so anyway, follow me on Twitter at the Days Man Show, and check out the Internet Goddess tournament going on on thedaysmanshow.com. Uh, Chris, the Days Man Days, was so kind to do a daily download featuring uh, the lovely ladies in bracket A. So I don't know if you watched that. I shared it. I told you to take your crummy opinion and put it over there. I think B released today. Oh, B did it? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Where you so, go well, I'm sorry. It didn't notify me right away. So look at that. You got to look at the first two brackets. So hopefully you have opinions. Go over and vote. I noticed right now the top amount of votes is eight on bracket A. Eight votes. It's, you know how hard it is to go past A? Oh, God. And that's the first the first uh, battle Easy of bracket A is the one that has the most. Then underneath that, I believe, or is that like six votes and so on and so forth. And then the rest of the brackets are still at four. Because it's who goes... That, dude. Really? Yeah, the top one's at nine... The what? second one's at 14. What? The yeah. fuck? Yeah, I just checked before the show happened. You need a new computer. Yeah, you I need just, a new computer. I, I literally was looking before definitely. the show started. Yeah, but we're, we're live, so people want to wanna see what we're talking about. You They're plugged it. Bam! Just sure. like that. That's how many you get. Holy shit, you're right. Are still all the others the same? Anyway, that's most that I have. I hope to get back on Twitch someday, some year. Probably when I just quit my job. I'll just quit, and then I'll Can be I on Can I join you? Can I please join you? Uh, sure. <laughs> I hate my life. All right, Go ahead. Tiger, what do you got to plug? Nobody cares about your woes. Shut up. <laughs> uh, not too much going on, but check us out on Facebook.com slash The Daceman Show, where we post all our stuff and all the daily downloads. And double aids. Don't buy the shirt. No! Why would you do that? Frank told me to. Sales. You took money out of our pockets. Buy the Ooh, shirt. Out of my mouth. Buy the shirt. He still said it. It counts. Buy the shirt. It's not up. <laughs> All right, on over to me. Follow me on Twitter at the Daceman. Uh, check out our feed on Twitch.tv slash Daceman and Friends. I've been playing Fallout 4. I apologize. <laughs> I haven't been playing this much because our internet here actually sucks. Every That's time because of the storms, going. man. No, it, yeah, something with Comcast. I'll be midstream and I keep getting booted. So they're coming out tomorrow, hopefully, to fix this issue and we'll be back to a normal schedule. 
Uh, and apparently Marvel Ultimate Alliance is out there, so I will totally dominate the stream. Um, and lastly, go check out thedacemanshow.com where we have reviews of Star Trek Beyond, uh, Seth Rogen's movie The Night Before, several video game reviews, as well as all the San Diego Comic-Con news and trailers we talked about here on the show tonight. Woo. And with that... Yes? It's time. To Thank give me said. money? No. It's time to wrap up the show. It's time for...